Usually when we paste in a Reloom component, we have our section, a div for our left and right padding, div for the container, div for the top and bottom padding, and each text element is wrapped in its own margin div like so. Let's copy that same component, but this time we'll run it through the converter. Instead of calling it blog44, we'll give it a custom class name like blog featured, blog gallery, or anything we'd like. It's added it to my clipboard, and now I can go ahead and paste this into Webflow. So we'll notice all of our classes have been given our new custom class name, and all of our colors are linked to our different variables like so. We'll notice our container here is now just one div, and its top and bottom padding will either be small, medium, or large, depending on what the original component used. Now, each of our text elements are no longer wrapped in margin divs. Instead, they have margin utilities with a custom class. And our max width here is set using CH, so it works with dynamic font sizes. All of our spacings, like our paddings and even our gaps, are linked to spacing variables, so we can globally update that spacing later if needed. And all of our border widths here are linked to border width variables, so we can change that border width across the whole site later if needed. Now, our grid columns here are usually set with 1FR, but that can cause overflow in some cases. So they've all been converted to a min of zero pixels, and that's across every breakpoint where columns are applied. So that's an overview of some of the things the converter can do. I hope this tool helps you out when converting your Reloom components into a Lumos style guide.